Welcome everybody to part 12 of the Blender 2.80 Absolute Beginners course. And now we're gonna dive more into the edit mode, which was introduced in the previous part. So today or now, depending how often you watch those videos, uh, we're gonna learn about the extrude region tool. So once we get into the edit mode, and once we click here, you're gonna see this sign appearing. And when you just click your mouse button on it and hold it and move around, you'll see something like this is happening. When you do it again, you might think, well, it looks more or less like scaling tool, right? But once you select any other face and do it again, you're gonna see it works completely different to scaling. What it actually does, it allows us to expand our geometry into any direction we want. So it kind of looks like a uh, cell, biological cell, which is uh, replicating and duplicating and growing by itself. So this is something we can do uh, using the extrude tool and it's gonna be probably next to those three main transformation and three those tools next it's gonna be next to them when it comes to 3d modeling in blender so as you can see i'm just playing around with it very freely and the basic cube we started with doesn't look like a cube anymore we can actually go very very crazy in here with playing around so i suggest you because you're probably probably thinking what's the practical use for it or there are many but for now again i would like you to just launch the tool and just play around with it use the knowledge we already have so let's say you do some rotation then you activate the tool again and see what happens rotate and activate the tool again and you can see this might be uh, pretty slow when you have to click around every single time when you want to change the tool after rotate when you want to you know rotate and activate the tool again so to make it much quicker you can press E key on your keyboard, which stands for extrude. How about that? So now you can see we can do this much quicker. Or you can even press, press it from the top view. So you can see we can do some crazy stuff using this one single tool available in edit mode. And yeah, I suggest you just play around with it for a while and see, see it for yourself. In the previous example, we were using an extrude tool uh, on the faces of the geometry. But let me show you what you can do when used on a single vertex. Let's switch to the top view. And by the way, our one of our beloved shortcuts, which is Shift D, also works in edit mode. So as you can see, I've duplicated this vertex here. So now I, I will just move it around. And when I press E key, you can see I can actually um, extrude it. So we can create a line like this and edit it the way we want to. So let's say I will now select those parts and I can rotate them. I will select these and I will move them around. I, I can align them uh, any way I want. So now with this shape, I can left click and drag without selecting any any of the cube, any parts of the cube. And now I can press E key again. And I can do it again. And I now 
I can rotate it maybe and I can do it again and I could do it any as much as I want to so now when I disable the x-ray and I leave the edit mode you can see we have this strange strange shape and you might think whoa what's what's the use of it again keep watching and just just try to practice uh, those very small steps yourself um, the thing you might notice here already is uh, we have two objects within one object right because we are in the object mode when I press Z key you can see I click here and both of those objects are selected how is that and that's because we copied uh, those we, we created both of these elements in the edit mode so you can see now I can select my cube or I can select this element or I can select both of them even more I can select my cube and I can duplicate it uh, as many times I want while being in the edit mode and when I leave it you can see this is considered in blender as a one object even though it has multiple uh, objects in it and that might be a bit confusing at first because you may now think how to how should I do this should I keep all the cubes separate and select them in edit in, in object mode or should I somehow duplicate them while being in edit mode and and then if I want to move them around every time I need to access the edit mode and do it uh, this way well the answer is it really depends uh, it depends what you want to do so you might remember our uh, funny trees we created uh, in the part 10 so let's let's do it quickly again when I create a cylinder when I add a cone and scale it up a little bit you might remember in order to move this tree around we always had to select two objects and then press G but we could do this in edit mode so let's say I have a cylinder object now I enter edit mode and here you can see we still have the add menu except it has way less options here right now because we cannot add a camera we cannot add a lamp in the edit mode so those kind of objects cannot be inside a regular object or except of calling these objects we can call them meshes and it's a 3d mesh and the way we use the word mesh you might already notice it's because well this 3d edit mode representation kind of looks like mesh especially when you use the UV sphere object right so here you can see it has this wired uh, mesh look and that's where the names uh, where, where this name comes from so again I will get back to the cylinder I will enter edit mode and now I, I will add a cone so when I move it up I scale it within the Z axis and move it down a little bit switch to solid now you can see when I click on this object I select both the, the cone and the cylinder so this is one of the examples where you might consider having two objects having two meshes within one object that might not be the uh, best way of handling your uh, models but it definitely works well for stuff like this so you may also wonder okay like uh, I like this part of this object I don't like the cubes so how I can move how I can separate this part of my object from from the entire uh, from the entire object right so there are two ways uh, 
you can just delete the cubes but this is not the best way to do this especially you, you would like to keep the cubes so you would like to just split those this mesh from from the entire object and have a separate object just for this mesh so in order to do this you just need to select it and then you just use a P key which stands for separate when you press selection you will see this part of the object becomes orange and when you go to the object mode now you can see we have two things selected this is an active object because it's brighter and this is now a separate object uh, you might have noticed they both share the same origin if I move this object a little bit to the left you can see its origin is here and this object has its origin here so we already know how to fix that let's say we just want to have the origin uh, somewhere in an average point of the mesh so I will select both of them not to repeat the step because we can do this for multiple selections so if I have two objects selected and I will click origin to geometry the points will be restored independently for two two objects what if we would like to have the cubes uh, as independent objects from from this object here so again when we enter the edit mode you could select each cube individually then press P and by the way um, you can also access this tool from here so we go to mesh separate and here you can see those three options we can do separate selection which will um, separate just this one cube from from the entire object again you can see we have the same situation and again the origin of this cube stays within the same point as for this one so we will just move it to the side a little bit but you could also go to the edit mode and press P and select loose parts and what it does when I click it you can see all of the cubes became orange except of this one so when I exit the edit mode we can see all of the cubes are now separate uh, the only problem left is still uh, a shared kind of origin point of each object which is outside of the actual geometry so let's just let's just select them and again go to object set origin origin to geometry and now you can see all the points were uh, let's set re <laughs> let's say reset to their uh, better location so by now you might be wondering Lech uh, this is all great stuff you're explaining to us but where is this amazing 3d skills that I was promised and when I will become a 3d artist well it's not that easy you see <laughs> um, I would say doing a 3d is a little bit like pr playing an instrument so at first the only thing you can do are just some very basic tunes and step by step when you learn how to produce new sounds then you start combining them together and then by a time you're actually what you're playing sounds like a melody so it's <coughs> it's exactly the same with 3d uh, what I'm teaching you right now are the very basic tunes and then step by step you'll be able to combine them all together and in the end you will create amazing stuff so you can see right now while I'm talking uh, I'm just playing around with the extrude tool so I've created a circle I've selected the all the vertices I had and I just started extruding them upwards now I do this downwards and maybe I will just enable the tool so it's more visible and I press E key now I scale now I extrude again within the Z axis now I scale again 
now I extrude downwards now I scale again so <clears throat> what I just created doesn't look like anything special but it's another way you can exercise this one of tools that will be very very important in the upcoming videos so step by step we still have a few more tools to learn and after that uh, you will be able to actually really start working and you're gonna love it so just be a little bit more patient and we see in the next video see ya